Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna find out a little bit about the issue that you've got going on and some overall advice as to how to get out of it. Okay, so we've got pile one, two, and three. This is the rose quartz, we've got the clear quartz crystal, and we've got the labradorite. So yeah, let's find out a little bit about you and what's going on and some overall advice, okay? Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hello, pile one, those who chose the blue tape with the rose quartz, let's find out a little bit about you. What's going on with you at this time, okay? The age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay, so it feels like you guys are a little bit apprehensive about doing something big and bold when it comes to your career or your mission, your passion, um, mixing career and passion together. Uh, you're definitely a healer. It looks like pile one, you're, you're a star seed. You're working with very high vibrational energies, okay? But I'm noticing that this woman's eyes are completely black here. Like, you can barely see that she has eyeballs. I feel like there are people around you who have convinced you that doing your work is somehow the devil's work. There might be a subconscious blockage you have about healing because there might be, like, this stereotype or stigma around what you're doing. I'm noticing also she's holding the triangle. So it's just, there's something about, like, symbolism. There's something about, like... Taboo. Like, I'm, I'm getting taboo here when I look at this. Yeah, because she almost looks like a nun here. It looks like a habit that she's wearing. And it's like, you are very holy, very divine, very protected. But there's this energy that people have projected to you and that doing your healing work is actually somehow taboo. It's, it's like not healthy or something. When really it's healing people, there are seven chakras here. You're actually healing people, but it's like people are not aware of what that looks like, I guess. Okay, so also I'm getting with the blue tape. What I love about you, Pile One, is that you're very in tune with your emotions. You let them flow. And for people like that, you and I both, we have this issue where people just consider us to be too sensitive. But I'm really getting that you're not too sensitive at all. It's like you're just healing by feeling things. It's actually really good that you have this capability. So if anybody's convincing you that it's wrong to feel your emotions, please tell them to F off. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to actually say that, but your energy will speak that, okay? <laughs> Let's find out a little bit about what's going on. So what's not working for you right now? The devil. Yep, there it is. There it is. Guys, what's not working is this devil energy. Again, people are calling you the devil. I'm literally getting like devil's work, devil's playground. When really you're just speaking truth. Wow. 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 Okay. So I've been there. I've been there. I've been called a Jezebel spirit. I've been called a demonic entity. I've been called a whole bunch of things, a uh, false prophet, you name it. I've been called it um, in this lifetime, let alone in last past lifetimes where I was killed for this. So technically speaking, I know a thing or two about persecution and I feel you are very much being persecuted right now and it's not fair. It's not fair at all. And you must feel alone. I'm sure you feel alone. You feel backstabbed by people that you love. By people you love that you're just trying to help. See, that's the worst part. The worst part is that it's really people that you have been with your entire life who've watched you from nothing to owning your own power in, in healing, you know? It's just really sad. It's really sad. So, yeah, okay, so did I ask what's not working? Because I hope that that's what this was. This was supposed to be what's working for you. Um, but it, I think I asked instead what's not working. This is breaking your heart. I don't think people are acknowledging how much of a beautiful healer you are. It's like people don't care to tell you things like, you helped me, you healed me, like you, you took 
all the pain away that I was feeling. Wow, we have the thinking man. I do feel though, I wanna tell you one thing. I feel someone does wanna tell you this, pile one. Someone really does appreciate you, okay? They could look like this, but I'm getting like there's, there's someone that really wants to invest in you, who wants to see you thrive and succeed because it seems like right now you guys are feeling like everybody is out to get you, but I'm telling you, I'm feeling this one person here. Um, I don't necessarily know that it's an air sign. could be Capricorn. What is this thinking, man? Yeah, somebody does want to reach out to you. You got the fifth chakra. Oh my God, yep, woman holding a heart, guys. Somebody wants to help repair your heart, okay? Now, Mercury retrograde, I think, just went into effect. So you might have an ex from the past coming back, okay? You probably already feel it. You might be getting dreams. Um, they want to express to you that you healed their heart as well, and now they kind of want to return the favor, See, I feel you have a lot of people, though, who see this as the devil's work. I keep getting that. But then there is this one person who is, like, totally different. Totally different than the rest. They speak very highly of you, okay? And also I'm getting this person. Um, they could be a speaker. They could do something in the, in the public eye, Okay. They're a great speaker, very eloquent. They speak their mind. Strategy. What did I say? This person's trying to make their way back. This person's trying to find a way in back to your life. You might have left them behind, but they're trying to make their way back. Why? Heart. I told you. Heart chakra, fourth chakra. I told you they're in love. They're, they love you. They absolutely want to heal your heart. This person just wants to love you, I'm telling you. Journey. This could be a soulmate. The number two here, they want you to travel to see them. They want to travel to see you. There's something about travel here. Victory. I'm telling you guys, this person really does want to give you back what was lost. It's not fair that other people took this from you. And this, this, this thinking man, whoever this is, like, I'm about to cry. They are just beautiful, okay? They're not like everyone else. I'm hearing them. Hold on. I'm hearing them. Wow. 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 With the authority here and the tower. Listen. The eight of swords. Guys, listen to me. I'm being told by your person, the emperor, Aries energy, Capricorn. I'm being told, um... Hmm. Wow. This person says, fuck the devil. That's what I'm hearing. I know it sounds very, uh, I know, I know it sounds, I know. Um, but I'm hearing like a lot of things about this, this energy. Um, this person knows you're a healer and that you're of the light and Wow, I'm going to cry because they are literally telling me right now like they have been in prison or they feel like they have been in jail for a long time in their own mind. They could have been literally locked up, but this person has fought their demons. That's why they look at this energy and they're like, fuck it. Yeah. This person's a very hardcore. They're, they're, they're really hardcore. This person is like a shadow worker. Okay. You're a light worker. They're a shadow worker. Wow. Wow. You might be in your mind about this person, like really in your head, like what the hell do I do? Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're trying to communicate with you, aren't they? In dreams. Eight of Wands. You definitely know they're trying to reach out. What should Pile 1 do about this situation? The waiting game. You're not going to know just yet. They haven't come back yet. You keep being in your head about like, does this person want bad for me or do they want good for me? But I'm telling you, I feel their motives are very much like vindication to like, <sighs> guys, this is like, this is a very intense person. Okay. Um, they are like not afraid of anything.
anything. That's what I feel. I feel this person has like zero fear. <sighs> Guys, they literally want to come back and conquer your demons for you. Wow. Wow. This is very intense. Like, yeah, solar plexus chakra. I think this is your divine masculine. What did I say about how fearless they are? You got the, the solar plexus, which is the place of confidence, and it's right on top of trapped in fear. I feel like they're very fearless. They just, they, they bravely fight everything that ever stands in their way. This person is somebody you want on your team, I'll tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Spiritual strength. You want them on your team. This is somebody who's going to uplift you. This is somebody who's going to protect you in like the astral realm. This person is like really woke, okay? They're very spiritual. Very spiritual. We got patience and planning again. So again, I'm getting, you need to be patient. They haven't come back yet, but you can feel them circling your energy, I feel. Yeah. Okay. Why are they good for this Pile. Why are they good for pile one? Suffering in silence. Yeah, so that you don't have to suffer anymore because this person wants to help alleviate all of the suffering. I feel like right now you're alone as well. You're very much alone. You're trapped in your own head, maybe in your own house. Yeah, five of pentacles. Financial and uh, material changes. Right now you're in a state of lack mentality and they really want to help you get out of that. Yeah, firm foundation. They want to give to you, okay? They want to help you get a better foundation for yourself. I'm seeing four plus five is nine. So it's like right now, money woes are really killing you, it feels. Uh, and this person wants to come back and offer you something. This person is a shadow worker, okay? Now, I don't really know what that means. I just keep getting that. Um, I mean, they work to transmute shit in the dark. This person has the most seductive aura I think I've ever seen. Um, it is so tempting. It is so tantalizing right now. Like, I'm not kidding. This it could definitely be a slippery slope, but I will tell you one thing. Uh, you as a light worker and them as a shadow worker, you're actually meant to help balance each other out. This person's going to bring you a lot more grounded energy and you're going to help uplift them and um, um, almost like purify their aura of any of this toxic shadow stuff that they've been fighting and dealing with. I actually feel Mercury retrograde is going to bring somebody back for you guys. Let's get some more information because I don't want to leave it there because this is such a profound um, reunion that I really feel you guys need to know more. So let's get some more here. I'm hearing this person is not afraid of other people. Um, they're not afraid of what anybody says. They're not afraid of anything. I don't feel this person has fears at all. I'm serious about that. Um, I mean, I know they, they say everybody's afraid of something, but maybe the only thing your person's afraid of is your rejection, possibly, or God's rejection, I'm hearing. This person may have even considered themselves like Lucifer at one time. Like they, they're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a darker energy, but not in the way of like, no, not in the way of like hurting people or being evil, just like, this person has been abandoned by everybody in their life, and so now they don't care what people say of them. They know that nothing can really be worse than abandonment. Wow. Um, this is just interesting. They're, look at this, the tower. I'm telling you, their entire life has crumbled, and so now they're trying to rebuild their life. And they want to rebuild it with you. Why? Five of Cups. This person misses you. This is somebody from the past. Wow, judgment. I just said it. Reconciliation. Right there it is. Coming back from the past. Judgment is all about reunion. Why? Why do they want to come back? Nine of Wands. They want to fight for this, guys. They want to fight for... I told you, they want to be a warrior. Like, this is really actually kind of beautiful energy. Um, but I do feel that there's, like, a stigma or a taboo. Like, this person's taboo for you. I'm getting, like, this is, um, yeah, Queen of Swords. You might need to um, 
protect your energy when you're around them. I think that, but you're good at that. You're good at that. Look at this. Because you've, you've left them before. You've cut them out before. So you could do it again easily, but at least hear them out because they bring a lot of help to you in a way. It's so strange that this seems... God, they're beautiful. They really are beautiful. Um, this is... I'm hearing this is taboo. This is... A lot of people will judge you guys. A lot of people will be like, wow, they, they are really dark. But they're not dark. It's just that they're into things that, you know, is not maybe typical. Six of Swords. But they really do want to help you, okay? I do feel their heart is pure. Give me one more about their heart space. Eight of Pentacles. What did I just say? They do want to work with you. Eight of Pentacles is all about working together. So yeah, they do want to work with you. They want to help you. They want to heal you and they want to love you. But again, this person's a little bit more in the shadow and you're a little bit more in the light. So you're kind of coming together in union in a very high level connection to kind of ease each other's... Wow, look at this. The devil, again. To ease the way that people see connections like this. It's almost like you're going to love them so unconditionally and they're going to love you so unconditionally that it's like people can't say shit. This person would never hurt a fly. Okay. I'm seeing with the fly on this devil's look at that. This person would literally never hurt a fly. They are just beautiful, but it's like, it's like they carry this stigma. It's like this person has been cursed. I want to say that. Okay. This person has been cursed in their life. You know, okay, I want to give an example. Spirit is showing me something right now. There was this meme that I saw. It was a typewriter, and it had had something on it, and it surfaced the internet. It just went viral. And everybody projected anger onto the typewriter. So the typewriter actually became cursed, even though it was just in a picture. Your person, it's the same sort of thing. Everybody has projected so much hatred onto your person that they are literally cursed. But that's why they're meeting up with you because you're like the curse breaker, okay? It's a very deep message, actually. This is one of the more taboo readings I've done, but this is beautiful. This is definitely shadow work, okay? You are pure light and they know it, but they're not, they do not want to hurt you. What is it pile one's person wants to avoid? Death. What did I say? Rejection and hurting you. They want to avoid also, they, I'm hearing they want to avoid hell. They want to avoid being cast out of heaven. So what they're trying to do is bring all of these curses to you to break. And again... You have been training for this for lifetimes. That's why they choose you. Because look at her eyes, how they're black. And there's a little bit of stigma around you. There's a little bit of a taboo energy about you, right? You're a little bit into the arts. You're a little bit darker. It's like that. It's like they're watching you. They're seeing that you could do this. Of all the people on the planet to do this, you could do it. This person gets a lot of flack about being a devil. Like being the devil, okay? Okay could be an Aries, a Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio heavy, actually. Capricorn. Five of Swords. Like I said, people have literally looked at your person like they are the devil incarnate. And your person has been through hell and back. So what they're doing is they're coming to you to heal. But yeah, you're still going to need your guards up. You're still going to need to protect yourself because, again... You are dealing with somebody who lives kind of in the shadow still, but um, they will not abuse you. They will not hurt you. And if they do, honey, you leave the fucking premise, okay? Um, but no, I'm not getting that they're... They would never do that. I'm getting they would never hurt a fly. This person is not that type. Yeah, no, not at all. Temperance. Look, they, 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 they never want to hurt you, ever. Like, I'm getting they're madly in love with you, Okay. They don't want to hurt you. They want to change things around. They want to work with you. Guys, I am not kidding. Sagittarius, Gemini, this person wants to like work with you in defeating their enemies, their demons in their own head. 
They want to learn from you. What do they want to learn? Ten of Cups. The next, like I said, how to fight. The Knight of Swords is a soldier. How to fight these demons to get to the Ten of Cups, to get to a lot. You see the two different, you see the difference in these cards? How dark they are? How dark this one is and how light this one is? I'm telling you. They really want to learn what you know to get to a higher vibration. So yeah, this person's coming back into your life. Um for healing they are and I, I will say it um but this time this time it's different because it's not you the only one that wants to heal them in the past i feel you were the only one that wanted to heal them but now now i'm getting they want to do the work as well let's get a couple more and then i'm gonna leave because oh my god it's 20 minutes i this is this is sucking me in because see that's the thing if you don't keep uh, uh, you know, stay true, stay true to you and keep your north, you know, keep, keep north. This person could suck you in. All right. Eight of pentacles. Stay focused on work. Okay. What I really like about this is you can see that this almost looks like Baphomet with the, with the, um, the pentacle in the downward position. You see that? But all the others are upright. So you and them, you, you over power the darkness in this person that's what i like about it you rub off on them more than they rub off on you okay but you can't be afraid of it you cannot be afraid and i don't feel like you are you've been wanting to do this your entire life you've been wanting to heal people and you're going to heal them and then they can help heal others too two of pentacles what is it pile one's doing with this person four of pentacles Lots of pentacles. Ace of swords. Okay, you're going to you're going to be holding on to a lot of your energy. Yeah, 8 of cups. You're going to be holding on to it and not letting them walk all over you anymore. Um and in doing so, um this person is going to heal even more and learn who they really are as a healer. Yeah, 8 of swords. The one thing that they're afraid of more than anything is you leaving them. And so what I'm getting is they will be on their best behavior. It feels like they want to heal. Queen of Cups, yeah. And you want to heal them. Six of Wands and the King of Cups. Oh my God, I love it, guys. Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of the shadow, okay? So what I got for you is a partnership coming in and it is somebody who you've been really, really worried about. But if you can just remain strong, hold your boundaries, do not let anybody fucking throw you off your throne, okay? Including them you'll be extremely pleasantly surprised to find out that your boundaries continue even if you're tempted. And your boundaries are what is going to sh change this person. And they're going to be like, well, here's the line, here's the line, here's the line, here's the line, I can't cross it. This is going to give them so much respect for you, okay? So the King and Queen of Cups a divine counterpart. I do feel this is divine. It's just right now you're a little bit afraid because you're like, are they going to hurt me if they come back? But I'm getting no, because now you have strong ass boundaries and you don't let anybody manipulate you, including them. So I hope that helped you guys. If you want to personal with me, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, those who chose pile two, the silver washi tape with the um, clear quartz. Welcome to your reading guys. Let's get some information about you and what's going on with you right now. Mintakin. Longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. Wow. Wow. Light workers unite. Okay. You might be getting really crazy dreams, or maybe you've had dreams past lives on Mintakin or some sort of water planet. Like you've had dreams of maybe being a dolphin or a whale or a fish, you know, something you're swimming in water, mermaids, stuff like that. You could have definitely had past lives there. Wow. I'm hearing it's real, guys. It's real. Okay, so whatever it is that you've been contemplating lately, it's magic and it's real. You might not understand it, but it's real. Okay, so spirit keeps telling me like you're whatever you're going through, it's the most intense awakening you've gone through yet with the clear quartz, but it's real. It's very real. Um, I'm getting if you sleep with clear quartz under your pillow, you would, oh my God, 
I'm hearing you'd hella astro project. <laughs> you'd go like deep into the universe, okay? So you might wanna uh, consider that. But yeah, let's see what's going on with you. What is not working for you at this time? Yin and yang, balance here. Wow, first chakra. So your first root chakra might be a little bit out of balance. And what's ironic is normally I tell people like, guys, get grounded, get grounded. But with you, it's almost like you might be too grounded. Um, it could definitely be vice versa because I just mentioned astral projection. So you might be so far in the clouds that you're not grounded at all. And then the other few of you, it's too much grounding. Not enough astral travel, not enough leaving your body, not enough exploration of the mind. It's too much in the earthly 3D plane. There's definitely an out of balance with the root chakra. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, I just said it. It's like you keep leaving your body, astral projecting or lucid dreaming, but there's not enough groundedness. Okay. See, it's almost like her soul is leaving. I see this as like her soul leaving the, the, the body, goddess of the moon. So right now I'm kind of feeling with you that, um, wow, that's a lot of water. It's a lot of emotional energy too. You might even be going through some sort of like awakening in the dream world, like in your crown chakra, your third chakra, or your third eye, I mean. I'm getting seven here, and you're like, your crown chakra. So active. Yeah, it's so active. It's imbalanced with the root chakra. So what I do for grounding is I have a red throw blanket. Okay, so red, red is the lowest vibrational color. It's the color that matches the root chakra. Um, I put that on. I sleep with one. I also, um, I use grounding mat. So look up a grounding mat. It has saved my life. I freaking love it. I live in a third floor walk up, so I can't always get outside. And these grounding mats are great. You just put your feet on them and chill for like an hour. What I do is I like to get mine a little bit wet. So, I mean, be careful because like I don't know about the whole like, it might not be safe thing, but this is what I do. I, I, I get it wet and I put my feet on it or my legs and I just sit there for an hour and it gets me grounded really quickly. So that might be something you wanna try doing, okay? So what is working for you right now? <gasps> Guys, I f I'm done. I literally cannot believe that came out. Like I said, your crown chakra, it's litty like a titty. I'm telling you, you guys are so expansive, but it's just, you're not grounded right now. Um, caring connections, let's see what this is about. Is there a soulmate in your dreams that you're meeting? Are you seeing someone in your dreams? We do have the yin and yang. That might be why you're wanting to be in the dream world. Is this kind of fantasy though? I'm not saying it's fantasy as in it's not real. I'm saying like if you don't get it grounded, it's only ever in the 5D. You need to really get it grounded. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at this. 1441, yeah, this is probably your divine counterpart. It's like a twin flame, I think. Very high level soulmate at least, but okay, listen, you need to get this grounded because right now it's just up in the ether. That might be why you don't recall a lot of dreams. Devil, yeah. Oh boy. I think there's a lot of toxicity around your home life right now. You could, maybe your mom got a Capricorn energy here. Could be somebody in your home life that is convincing you this is not a healthy dynamic or something. Yeah, seven of ones. Somebody's trying to like tell you, um, wow, yeah, no, somebody's doing something not great here. What is the seven of, yeah, I think it's this connection. Page of swords, page of wands. I think there's somebody you're meeting in your dreams. Yep. Yep, somebody's trying to ground you. Like somebody's trying to keep you out of the ether, okay? Now, again, you need to be grounded in order to get 
into the ether as well. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you're not grounded, you won't remember half the shit that you're doing in the ether, okay? Um, there is a connection coming in for you. It's very high level. It is a very high level commitment, very high level soulmate. But somebody's convincing you that it's wrong. The King of Cups, honey, I'm telling you, you got somebody in love with you, okay? Page of Wands. You got three pages, the Queen of Cups, the Empress. The, there's too many people in this environment. Look how many court cards. Look, how, There's too many people. And it's all run by the fucking devil. This is like a mosh pit of jealous Julies. You're trying to escape via your dreams. Knight of Cups and the Magician. Yeah, you're manifesting this person into your life. But you got the three cups. There's too many people here. You're trying to manifest this new beginning with someone. Okay, It's like a soulmate that you know exists. You just might not know much about them. But that's why I'm getting that this says longing for home. The original light worker. Like you are a light worker. You're here to do amazing things with this person, I feel. But there are too many people in this wow why are there so many people the star because you're leaving your fucking body you're actually meeting up with this person you're having union already you're in union it's just not in the 3d you're healing that's why so many people are trying to like look at you like what are you doing what what do you know what do you have different here that we don't like I said, they're trying to, to get you off kilter. They're trying to keep you ungrounded. Guys, listen. Somebody in your environment is trying to knock you off balance. They're trying to keep you completely out of uh, alignment. And I will tell you, the worst part about fighting in your family or in your, your apartment or whatever you hear, you know, it makes it really hard for you to want to get grounded. Who wants to be grounded and completely aware at all times if you're in a very toxic environment? No one. So you're escaping through your dreams, which is great, but it's not great because you are meant to bring this to fruition here in the 3D. Okay. How can, um, what does pile two need to start asking spirit for? Financial constraints and woman holding a heart. I think you need to start asking for help with this Empress energy contract. It's a soul um, contract. You have someone that you are very indecisive about. It's a woman and she's stealing from you. She's stealing energy right now. You need to start asking about how to break away from this and how to make money on your own without her taking it or knowing about it. This is an energy vampire and it's a woman, definitely a woman. And this is why you are leaving your body and, and doing dreams, lucid dreaming, stuff like that, because this is your place. You, you're finding your place with this person in the ether. It's like you're building a, a fantasy land. It's not fantasy, it's real. This person really exists. It's just that you can't ground this until you've dealt with this bullshit. Wow, there it is. Third eye chakra. Like, you guys are really woke. I mean, you are really, your crown and your, your third eye are like the most active that you have. Your root, your lower three chakras are the ones that are out of balance. Yeah, because of your family, because of the people you live with. Um, okay, so how can they move ahead? Door to healing personal happiness door to personal healing happiness yeah community look how many sevens you have three plus four you got seven here you have seven here it's like your crown chakra and there's the seventh chakra like it's all so hella active like i said the temple path like you have somebody you're meeting up with in the in the astral plane um how can you move ahead 
You need to heal yourself before you can heal others. You can't heal this community of friends and your family, friends. You can't heal them until you've healed you. You need to be a little bit more selfish. Yeah, they're draining the fuck out of you. Six of swords. You might need to travel to move away from this person. Seven of swords. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They're nasty. You need to have some separation between you and the deceptive players here because you're escaping. You're using escapism at this time. What do they need to do? You need distance between you and them. Physical distance. And then the energetic distance will happen. So you need to be happy on your own without them. You need to start thinking about things that make you incredibly happy. And yes, it might cause these people to like convulse and just go ape shit. But honestly, you're protected. You're, pro you're this protected. Like you are in the, the 5D, like at all times it feels. These people are just nasty. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. They're sabotaging this connection with the King of Cups. They're sabotaging this. Yep. They're pretending to be excited for you, but as soon as you tell them something happy, they're like pissed that you're doing it. That you know this person, that you want this person, that you get this divine love and they don't. There's like a rejection here. It's like they're in encouraging you to reject this person. This is very karmic, these people. Two of Swords. They're trying to keep you trapped in this, well, I don't know if it's real. Maybe it's a fantasy. Maybe it's not supposed to happen. Honey, it is most definitely supposed to happen. There's the fucking judgment card. It's most definitely supposed to happen. It's angelically guided. It's just that you can't have it until you're done dealing with this bullshit. Three of Wands. It is going to come in. I can assure you that. Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess, honey, it is coming in. You just have got some really toxic people to deal with right now, okay? You've got to, like, distance yourself from them, okay? Energetically, they're siphoning every drop of energy you have, okay? It's not good. It's not good in the slightest, all right? Well, I'm going to leave it there, but I hope this reading helped you guys. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading, guys. Let's find out a little bit about you, what's happening right now for you guys. Okay, so we have the Labradorite crystal here. The star washi tape. Hmm. I'm almost, I don't know why, but I almost want to, like, rip this off and, like, bandage this crystal. Some of you might need to cleanse your crystals and, um charge them so I use salt water for most of my crystals even the ones I'm not supposed to like black tourmaline I still use salt water <laughs> uh yeah you need to charge your crystals okay set the intentions what you could do is hold it in your hand or um just spread them out and then set intentions start speaking intentions into your crystals um so like what would labradorite be for you for me it's confidence spirit has helped me charge this like i've had archangels help me charge this crystal for confidence so like you can choose whatever um intention you want for each thing each item so this one i i charge with uh, uh confidence clear, clear quartz is the best to do this with so get a lot of clear quartz um, because that holds most of the, the uh, charge the best, whatever you charge it with. It's very universal, clear quartz. Okay, so you guys need to cleanse your crystals. That, that, um, also, I'm getting like altar, clear your altar, clear your space, clean, okay, clean. Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Wow. You, you empower so many people. I mean, you really do. I'm seeing this girl in the front, and then there's so many women behind you that just, they feel so empowered by you. You really have, like, a small team of people that are devoted to you. I mean, like, devoted to the cause, devoted to you and what you do. To just, like, you are just a beacon of light for people.
I feel like you bring in a lot of like people who are like in the dark, I think, because um, you, you're a healer and you bring in a lot of broken, wounded birds. But I'm, I'm feeling like you have a whole team of people that can like help transmute a lot of that too. So I feel like you're about to know your soul family if you don't already know them. And what I'm getting is you're going to be able to share ideas and concepts with these people um, and transmute a lot of pain through that. Like they hold space for you is what I'm getting. There's a lot of distractions coming in in your pile, pile three. Right before I started, I got, there was an ambulance outside and then my neighbors are coughing and the, do the dog next door is, yeah. Pile three, please. Pile three. Pile three. What's going right for pile three right now? Rest and rejuvenation. Wow, very nice. Throat chakra. So you guys might even be like taking some time off from speaking or taking some, some quiet, much needed quiet time. Like your meditation game is on point. <laughs> your meditation game looks so good right now, guys. Like you are doing so well when it comes to your health, your well-being, your mental health, your your emotional state. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You're so grounded. It's great. That's what's going right for you. You're taking a break from speaking right now. You don't need to speak. I'm, I'm hearing like, I don't need to speak. People can understand telepathically what the fuck I'm saying. That's how, that's how many cool people you have around you that you don't even need to speak a word. The lovers, yeah. People are really starting to like come in that are truly your soul family. Mm-hmm. We have four, five, six here. You're ascending. Like you're you're doing you're doing such great work. We have Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Guys, if you don't already know your soul family, you're about to. Okay. You're gonna be offered a lot of things very soon in a community. I feel like you're building a community and it's it's successful. It's about to happen for you. Pile three is like the most of all three, the most like further along their journey. You are definitely supposed to do something in community, like community outreach, but it feels like a spiritual community. It feels like a spiritual community of mystics. Maybe you teach meditation. Yeah, you guys might want to look into um, getting your crystals cleansed though, because I'm getting that that's kind of a big deal. Um, or clearing your space, clearing your, uh, your altar, whatever it is you do, but you're very much a mystic. So this is like one of the most woke piles, which I fucking love. Pile three, what's not working for you? Three of pentacles. The waiting game. You are losing hope that you're going to find this crew though. See the three of pentacles. I'm telling you with the three of cups, it's like you're building a community people to work with. Three of pentacles is all about collaboration. And with the waiting game, I'm getting like, you have just been like, well, eh, it might never happen, but I'm telling you, you are on the brink of it. It is about to happen like fast. Oh my God. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see that? Wow. You guys are so zen. Like, I love it. Like, I love it. You might have even thought that maybe you'll just be alone forever, but you're not. You're not alone. You're, you're destined for huge things with a very good community of like-minded people to keep you safe. I'm hearing to keep you safe. It'll keep you in a bubble. It'll keep you shielded. I cannot make this up. It'll keep you safe. There's like a... Um, yeah. You're meant to be in love with somebody in this lifetime too. Four of Wands. You're meant to be in some very high vibrational connections. Guys, you're meant to actually like make a community with like-minded folks. Okay. Those who might believe in the Fae too, I'm kind of getting. I don't know, but I heard Fae folk, so... The universe, yeah, exactly. Very awakened souls. You can't make this up, guys. You're meant to be with people who believe in like the unseen. And I'm getting two, there will be people coming in that believe in fairies. 
maybe they work with the they work with the fairies and then we have the shadow as well so these people like i just said the unseen what you can't see these people believe in what you believe in tell me about the safety of this group patience yeah i'm really getting there they're you're you're right now on the brink of bringing them in and you've grown impatient, but I'm getting like, they're going to actually help protect you a lot. Trapped in fear. Yeah. Deception and envy. Okay, guys, you're lying to yourselves right now. Like you are so worthy of this. You're so fucking worthy. These people are going to bubble you. Like there's a shield around this person too. I'm hearing two-faced here. This person has two faces. The seven of swords is deception and you have trapped in fear. So they're going to be like protecting you from people who are very deceitful, okay, dishonest. But I am kind of getting that this patience card is like you giving up on believing it'll come in. It's like you don't even need to be patient anymore. It's just around the corner. Four of Swords. I, you can't make this up. You have the Four of Swords here, Rest and Rejuvenation, and then you have Four of Swords here. These people are going to help you uh, get a lot of rest. To not have to worry so much about the deception of the world. Because these people are just high vibrational. They don't have a deceptive bone in their body. Tell me about um, what, this, what these people will do for Pile 3. Three of Swords in reverse. I'm not taking it upright. There's no way these people would backstab you. However, I do want to tell you that I think the reason you've grown impatient is because you had false soul family come in in the past. People who were like, we're soul family. Oh my God, I love you. I've missed you forever. Like you're mine. And then they would stab you in the back. Yeah, there it is. King of swords. Narcissistic assholes. These people are not like that. Yeah, high priestess. Guys, these people are not like that. The real ones that you're supposed to be with, they would never do that. Okay? Okay. They're offering you something with the Page of Cups and the page, uh, the Ace of Pentacles. You're about to meet your soul family. What is it this, this pile three needs to know? What energy do they need to avoid at this time? Justice. Nine of Cups. You need to avoid feeling guilty about your happiness. You're getting divine karmic justice here. You need to stop feeling guilty that you're happy and others aren't. Look at this. The nine of swords. See, there are two nines. You are getting your happiness and then there are other people who are not getting theirs. And it's leaving you feeling guilty, feeling trapped, feeling like, how dare I get happy when other people around me are miserable? But it's a free will choice. You know, everybody has the choice. They're choosing this pain right now. They're choosing it. And you're choosing not to have it anymore. You're choosing to end your own pain and suffering and want to help other people do that too. You need to walk away from those who are deliberately choosing their own pain. What does pile three need to uh, bring more of in their life? Five of wands. Eight of swords. You need to welcome the conflict that is being brought into your life right now. Look at this death. You need to welcome it. There's a lot of us running away from our pain, running away from our suffering, running away from expressing ourselves. You are not welcoming this change very well right now. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of fear, and a lot of indecision with the two of swords. You need to put an end to this, but the only way you can end this is by acknowledging that it exists. Acknowledge that there really are truly people who wanted to keep you held back. That's the hardest lesson in this journey is seeing that people really did want to keep you all to themselves. And it, it hurt. They wanted to keep you blindfolded and you don't want to see that. Who would? Um, it's your own family, probably. It's your own community. Whoever this person is, you could share the same nose. Just getting that. <laughs> You have the same nose, same eyes. 
They want to like follow you. They, yeah, but they're not healthy for you. Seven of cups, you, you, they leave you in a state of illusion, guys. What you're doing right now is you're avoiding the truth. That these people really do want to keep you down. You need to stay woke. And the only way to stay woke is to stay woke. And I got to be honest, it, it never feels good. Look at this, the moon. You have the seven of cups and the moon. It's never a good idea to take the blue pill. You're trying your best to avoid seeing the truth. That for your entire life, perhaps, this person or people have kept you trapped. You're avoiding this. You're avoiding the subconscious pain. You're avoiding the. You're avoiding going into the subconscious because of pain. You're avoiding the pain. Once you can look it right in the eye and say, "Yes, so and so hurt me. Yes, I'm getting good karma and they're getting bad karma, and there's nothing I can do about it." I literally heard spirit tell me yesterday, like, if I am against someone else getting their karma, I am against their healing. Then. I'm literally going against the universe. If I keep saying like, but I don't want them to suffer. I don't want them to have bad karma. That, that's not my decision. And I'm literally going against the grain. I'm going against what the universe needs for them and their soul. Because they need to advance. They need to go through karmic lessons in order to heal. So the more I do stand in the way of it by, by resisting you know, and saying like, no, 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 don't let them have it. Don't let them have the karma. Um, these people can latch on to me and I enable them, which of course turns into more guilt and resentment on my end. I start to resent myself. I start to feel guilty for enabling them because why? Because the universe needs to give these people karma so they can learn lessons, so they can ascend, so they can go through ascension. So I'm ultimately taking away their ascension. How did I grow? I grew because I had karmic lessons. I was literally restraining this person from their karma, keeping them from their karma because I was like, well, I don't want them to hurt. I don't want, but that's like saying a butterfly can't leave its cocoon, right? Unless I help it out of its cocoon. But like a butterfly is supposed to get out on its own. In fact, if you let a butterfly out of its cocoon, it'll die in nature. It'll die. Because the wings will be so weak and fragile, it will have had no blood flow to them. They'll die in nature. So while it looks good on the surface, you're not really helping that butterfly, are you? So sometimes you have to pull away so others can have their karma. There is a lot of good karma coming in for you, Pile 3. Um, and what it's going to take first for you to get there is to acknowledge that, yes, there have been people keeping you in fear and they have been trying their best to convince you that you do not need this happiness, this joy coming in, that if they can't get it, you can't get it either. But that is about to end for you. The Fool, I just said, you have a lot of great karma coming in. This is going to feel so light when you can finally deal with this. You will get through to the other side, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope that this reading helped you guys. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.